My wife and I stayed here for one night in late December. The place was a last resort as all the other hotels in the area were fully booked and even though it was patently obvious that my wife was in the final stage of a third trimester, not one hotelier would offer us any accommodation. No. Thanks for your compassion, Bethlehem Tourism. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, there was the Bethlehem Inn. Despite this inn also having no vacancies, the proprietor offered us what we refer to as a better of an idea. <laughs> <laughs> His stable, not a converted stable, oh no. A fully functional, cattle-inhabited, open-fronted shit shack. <laughs> <laughs> With no door. <laughs> but their options had pretty much dwindled to its this or divorce, I grabbed a haystack from an already bought for crucifixion wife, negotiated a heavy discount and settled in for the night. And round about midnight, my wife's waters broke. <laughs> now I do accept that an unexpected birth is a challenge for most hotels, but the proprietor of the Bethlehem Inn chose not to see the incident as a challenge or indeed any of his fucking concern and left us to manage our own midwifery. <laughs> <laughs> Despite me training being in joinery, <laughs> and lacking any appropriately sterilised equipment on nursing staff, barring the donkey. <laughs> we successfully managed to deliver a healthy baby boy, which, due to the Bethlehem in not supplying travel cots, I had a place in a bloody trough. <laughs> a trough where I had to think when he beat the cows away from is the attempt to eat my son's bedding. <laughs> it was at this point that things grew manifestly bloody weirder. <laughs> Due to the lack of any kind of door in a very public hotel room, any idiots and their sheep could wander in. <laughs> and indeed they did. <laughs> Closely followed by some androgynous looking weirdo dressed as a fairy who lured him stroke herself through the skylight, proceeded to knock out some kind of Gregorian chanting. <laughs> this shit went on well into the next. <laughs> So because of the all too apparent hygiene issues and the subsequent clear infringement of our privacy during an already stressful evening, we can only grant the Bethlehem in one star. <laughs> <laughs> Which incident is what three pissed foreigners came that followed with a turn before morning and three massively inappropriate baby gifts. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, the gold was a nice thought. <laughs> but incense and embalming are an absurdly creepy presence for a newborn, so we hid them under a haystack. <laughs> we didn't stay for breakfast, so we can't comment there. And thankfully, the gold helped to secure the rest of our stay at the Bethlehem Malmaison. <laughs> Result. <laughs> we haven't yet been contacted by the Bethlehem and offered any kind of refund or apology by the idiot in charge, but I'd sooner see a man walk on water before I stay there again. <laughs> The only plus point was that there was no Gideon's Bible. <laughs> <laughs>